Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you in this video uh, what I use to make a YouTube video. So, when I'm recording my screen to demonstrate something or anything like that, I use a program called ScreenFlow. And um, with ScreenFlow, you can uh, record your screen, you can uh, record the audio from your microphone, the audio from your computer, and uh, you can record yourself on webcam too, so you can put the image of you in the corner, or wherever you want, and you can customize all of that. Once you have your video, uh, you get a little um, like editing thing like this. And here you can edit the like recording itself. You can add different um, like effects. You can change the size of it, the scale, uh, the audio. You can um, make the pointer more big. You can add a click effect. Um, you can change the opacity of things. Uh, show the keys that you press on a key on the keyboard. Uh, you can add call-out actions, so when you click something, you can make the background disappear and only show what you click. You can uh, add text and text and things. For example, on this at the end, I added text right there. That's what that looks like. And um, you can add media too, so that includes like songs and things or different um, images or videos as well so that's basically all to screen flow but before I go move on uh, another big feature in screen flow is the zooming in and out effects um, with screen flow you can add um, you can add zooming effects. You click on the video portion and you click add a video action. I'll just show you a quick example here. In my HTML video that I made. So you find where you want. Then you click add a video action. Then you change the scale of your video. You can drag it up, then make it bigger. Like that, and then you're done. So now, when you come up to that point and play it, it zooms right in. And that's basically the biggest feature that I use in ScreenFlow. So, if I'm not recording my screen, if I'm doing an unboxing or a review or anything like that, I use iMovie 09. And I just love iMovie 09. Um, you can do many different things. Like, especially, I like this uh, feature here. If you drag a video clip and put it on another one, you have these options right here. You can replace it, replace it from the start, replace from end, replace it playhead, insert, only use the audio from the clip, um, cut away and use that, picture in picture, and green screen. Green screen, I love that. I haven't done any videos on it yet, but I plan on doing some in the future. If you don't know what picture in picture is, it's also called pip, picture in picture. You do that, and then over here in the corner or you can drag it around wherever and then you have another video playing in the corner or wherever you want I really like that effect um so yeah just I use this for unboxings and things like that you can export it in HD I like that feature you can add music and photos and text stuff 
there's really neat uh, text text things to add. Um, also transitions, things like that. So that's basically all you need to do with that. And if you're gonna export a movie for HD in iMovie, you go File, actually Share, Export Movie. Wait, that's Export using QuickTime. And go Options, Settings, and change your settings to all that that's on my screen right there. And then don't bother with the filter, but then change your dimensions to HD, 1280 by 720, 16 by 9, 16 point, yeah. And then OK, and then OK, and then you save it to wherever you want, and it'll export it in HD. So that's iMovie. And now I'll go back and show you how to export in HD for screen flow. So you're going to go to File export and then you're gonna click web high best quality then you're gonna go scale by a hundred percent and click customize and then go to size and change this to HD 1280 by 720 16 by 9 okay don't bother with the filter and this settings it doesn't really matter what you do with that because it should already, like, the only thing that you need to change is the size, the settings, it doesn't really matter. And then you click OK. And right here it'll say 1280 by 800, but that's OK. It's still 1280 by 720. And then you click Export, and it will export your movie in HD and full quality, like the ones you've seen um, on mine. So, that's all there is for when I make a YouTube video. I also have Final Cut Pro, but I don't use it that much. Um, so that's basically it. So remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out my website at www.blakestechblog.com, and I'll talk to you guys later.